minutes, so I actually wrote this. Uh, Jim, come stand next to me. Um, is it okay if I if I say it in Mama Washington in English? Absolutely. Okay. okay. So, um, Jim, you know, it's empowering to be third in the batting order here. It's like Roger Maris back in the days of the New York Yankees. Jim and I um, were the best of friends from the age of two, and then all through our youth in Ottawa. You remember the seasons, Jim, but for me it's 16 years of continuous winter. We were together all through grade school and then those marvelous years in Habonim. We were somewhat rivalrous friends, in love with the same girls, competing over who had a bigger coin collection. Jim's house was my place of refuge, but not only me, there were so many refugees that found the warm home of 259 Daily. Um, and uh, like Bonnie, I, I feel that I had another set of parents when I was, was growing up. Mr. Shalom, who would walk with us, and your dog, Nikki, late at night in the winter, all the way to the apartment buildings, never saying anything that he didn't have to say. And then all of a sudden, boy chick, and out would come something that you needed to listen to. And your mom, Dina, I remember her in bed reading one book after another book. And I have a memory that nobody can, um, what's the word, verify. Uh, that Dina once read a dictionary cover to cover to learn every word in the English language. At least that's how I remember her. The Shalom Kitchen, where the Hebra would sit eating potato chips, and talking about mundane things like who we wanted to, as our first sex partner. I don't know if you remember that. You know, <laughs> regular teenage banter. Um, and the Jim's older sisters, Judy and Sue, Susie and Judy, and Judy yes, who were turns aloof at the same time, so very cool. Jim was always a leader. I remember him from grade one as a leader. A young person, I'm gonna say some nice things about you now. With incredible motivation, social involvement, dedication, responsibility, and integrity that he expected in others, but most of all in himself. I remember the time he fasted on Tisha B'Av for two days, not one. Not because he was super religious, but just to see whether he could do it. And of course he could. Among the hundreds of childhood stories, one sticks in my mind. It's winter, we're playing football, at recess, and Jim has the ball. When Jim had the ball, he wanted to be on his team. He wasn't the biggest kid in class. He might not even have been the strongest kid in class, but you could not tackle him. I remember you carrying the ball with about eight people on your head, all the way to the, to the touchdown. Jim, I was lucky to grow up beside you, to learn from you and your dear parents. If I were going through that dictionary with your mom right now looking for a word that best describes you, I think that word would be resolve. It combines determination, persistence, grit, courage, dedication, resolution, and purpose. Just like you do. Michelle Koch, Dr. Jim Shalom.